Okay, so you've just arrived home with your brand new dream machine. Yeah, a laptop. Probably not like this one, the one that I'm holding here. You know, this one might be a bit thick, not as smart as the one that you have. But there are a few changes that you have to make on that machine, a few configurations that you have to make on that laptop so as to make it more efficient and even more secure. There are just few changes that you have to make on it. So let me just show you those few settings that you have to do. And the shortest way to install even the software that you'll need in future while using the laptop. So let's jump straight into it. And so the first thing you have to do with your brand new machine, first thing, the moment you've already turned it on, just go to the network setting right there, right down here, network setting, see? Then connect your laptop to a Wi-Fi, the next available Wi-Fi that you have. So mine, I think, is already connected. So once you've done that, actually it's not connected, let me just put the password. Yeah, so it's already connected. So first thing first, the moment you just open or return on your brand new machine after connecting it to Wi-Fi, come here to the Windows search tab, Windows 11, we have this icon here. Then tap there, check updates, check updates. Yeah, check updates. Yeah, so check updates then see right here you have check updates see there so come to check updates yeah then click on that you'll have this tab then check for updates so you see so right now it's checking for updates and it's actually checking for updates of drivers all the drivers that are connected to this laptop all the uh, maybe the the basic softwares for the Windows environment that you'll need for this machine to operate like more efficiently. Yeah. So this is what it's, it's currently doing. So it will scan for all the updates and then it will give you an option here to download all of them. And what, what I like about this, doing the update on this interface that you get to update your laptop to the latest drivers that are available on the internet. So you'll just directly uh, outsource the drivers depending on your laptop, whether you have Lenovo like I do here, HP, just follow the same procedures and you'll have all the available drivers and software updates that you need for your laptop. And then once you're done with that, come here to advanced options. See right here, advanced options. So click on advanced option. And here you'll find you have this optional updates here, optional updates. So once the scan is over, you'll find that there's some updates that are hidden somewhere here that are optional and uh, most of the time maybe if your laptop doesn't have the bluetooth con uh, configuration capability you have the hardware for bluetooth but your laptop is not connecting to bluetooth so there's a possibility that the driver is hidden somewhere here the update driver is hidden somewhere here so just come to optional drivers and then right now mine is indicating zero because it's still scanning but yours will indicate like you'll have 10 11 uh, drivers that are hidden somewhere there are optional drivers so update those drivers and then when you're done with that now we go to our second step so the second step is uh, come here to windows search tab yeah come to control panel control panel yeah click on enter so the control panel come here where we have an install programs yeah so come to an install programs right here and then you see uh, with me, I only have Microsoft Edge and, micro and Microsoft OneDrive. And as usual, I know we normally don't use this Microsoft Edge. Yeah. So what do you do? Uh, if you don't want to use Microsoft Edge, just before you uninstall Microsoft Edge, come to your laptop, turn, uh, open the browser Microsoft Edge. Yeah. So at Microsoft Edge, just come here and type. Okay, let me just initialize this. I think it's taking time. 
continue without signing in accept yeah so there's a tab that already open so go to your laptop and then type on the browser of the microsoft edge now so go and then type this see ninite type ninite i hope it's visible from there so type ninite then from ninite just come and click on ninite the website and there's something interesting about this website now this is so crucial and this will help you to install the basic software that you'll need to operate your laptop on a daily basis in the shortest time possible and even to easen up the work of installing the application so you see what you have here uh right down here we have you see here you, uh, it's indicated pick the apps you want to install see pick the apps you want to install so on the first interface we have the browsers you have all the basic browsers that you want to use like chrome opera mini firefox edge and brave so you just need to select the apps that you want so for example let's say you want to install chrome select chrome then maybe you want to use maybe let's say brave select brave and then messaging you have things like zoom you want to use zoom select zoom uh skype you have somebody use skype discord there for media you have vlc this is the best for opening any applications but it depends with the one that you like using there's some people like using the imp you have spotify here see spotify here you have runtimes these are uh, software that support like their background operation to software like let's say for people do programming what you have to have java adopt open see you have to have net dot framework runtime you have to have all these basic softwares and actually i advise you to select all these that we have here just tick all of them because they're so crucial to your machine they do some background work that you may not even understand at the moment and then for imaging if you're somebody who does imaging video editing maybe for pictures and the rest you have uh Krita, you have blender and so many more then for documents you have Foxit Reader. It's unfortunate that you don't have PDF Reader here, but not only can get it online. Then for security, you have Malwarebytes, have AVG, Avast. Yeah, some of these security features I'll say that most of them I call them nice makers. So maybe let's say Avast and AVG are good. The rest, it's up to you now. And then online storage, you have Dropbox, OneDrive for online storage. You know OneDrive. Then you have another crucial software here that you might need for file extraction. That is for compression here you have winrar or zip so just select one of them i know most of you preferably like i do you prefer having winrar yeah so select winrar right there then for utilities you might want team viewer for interconnection you have cc cleaner for cleaning up your machine whenever there are bugs on the drives on the windows so many things so then again here we have developer tools so those who are doing programming you have python python 3 you have uh, python x uh, 64 see you have eclipse you have visual studio code we have Putty. so many applications that you will need for your daily day-to-day -day, uh, tasks then after that just come here and click get your night so when you click on get your night this is what happens you see so it will just automatically start downloading you see you have your night here so after that just right click on it to run so it will be preparing and uh, just give it some time you see give it some time to install all those applications that you selected so while that is being done already the laptop is updating the drivers then you're already installing uh, the software that you need like chrome vlc you see now we've started chrome so you'll just follow that suit until all the uh, software that you selected to install have been installed. So number three, this is what you do now. So now you have to, you see something that we like about Windows 11 is that it's come, it comes with its own Windows security. And to get to the Windows security, just come to the Windows search tab here and then write Windows security. Uh, okay, can I actually write just security? See? So you have this window security here so come to the window security right here security click on enter 
open it. So Arduino security, you see here, we have these uh, yellow stop signs right there. So it means there are some things that you have not uh, turned on. So first thing first, come here and turn up and browser control so as to make your browsing secure. Turn them on. Yeah, see, it's ticked. Account protection. For, so for this, you have to sign in to make it more secure. You'll sign in with your Microsoft account. I'll not, I'm not going to do that here because it takes time, but you can do it. And then the second step, now you set up your OneDrive, and then you have virus and threat protection. So you click on virus and threat protection, then come here to manage settings, right here, manage settings. Manage settings there. On manage settings, ensure that you've ticked all these real-time protection, cloud uh, delivery protection, automatic sample submission. Do all these to make your machine secure because this is the basic antivirus that you have on your laptop and it's pretty good. You don't even need to install the other antivirus because this is somehow worthy and almost enough. Not not hundred percent but ninety percent enough for you. Yeah. So do that. Then once you're done with that, you ensure that everything is on. Now, this is the most crucial part. Come here to virus and threat protection. See right here? Virus and threat protection ensure that uh, it's updated to the latest uh, virus definition or threat protection definition that you have. So you see like the last update here, it's written, actually it has just disappeared, but it was written not available. So right now it's checking for updates. Ensure that you have the latest update of virus. You see something with the uh, virus, laptop virus or Windows virus, uh, you have to check for updates because let's say there's a virus that came out today and your Windows antivirus uh, protection is not updated to the definition of the virus that we have today. Let's say it was a virus called uh, Kiwa. Yeah? So Kiwa came out just today and you have updated antivirus uh, database. So therefore it will not notice Kiwa unless you update it for it to uh, notice that Kiwa is, is a form that antivirus that came out maybe let's say today and it will be able to protect your laptop against that form of virus so finally now that you've already updated you've set your laptop to update the drivers online uh, you've already you're installing the application that you love to use that you'll have to use on a daily day to basis you've already activated your windows security or antivirus and it's up to date now what you have to do after that is uh Give your machine time. Let it, in, let it install all the software that you want. You see right here, we are done. We have Chrome. And uh, it's right now downloading Brave. So this process will depend or how fast it is, it is will depend on how good or how fast your internet speed is. And once you're done with that, you're now good to go. You can now use your laptop to do any other thing. You can now install any other application that you want to work on or any other things. But be assured that after that, your machine is very safe. And uh, if you found this video so helpful, guys. So after following all those simple, yet so crucial steps up to this point, be rest assured that your laptop is in safe hands and you can use it to do all your daily, day-to-day -day tasks at ease. And if you found this video so uh, helpful to you, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because that's something that I really appreciate from you guys from the beginning up to this moment the support has been so so great and that's why I continue coming up with these great videos for you guys keep supporting me as I keep educating you or supporting you too it's a two-way traffic yeah thank you so much stick around for the next update and also if you find this video so so useful don't forget to share it with your friends see you next time on another update